Ready? Mm -hmm. So, hey world. Oh, this is Cammie's Cam, and I'm back with another video. And today I want to show you all how, well, I'm just updating you all. And today I'm giving my homage a shot. My husband is recording for me. Um, I've never given this before, even though I'm a nurse. I've never given this. Um, they didn't really give me any instructions on how to do it. So I just YouTubed it. And I also looked at the instructions because it comes with instructions in the package. So this is the overdose shot. You're going to give it, um, it's a needle. You give it sub-Q, meaning sub-continuously, meaning in the fatty portion of your body. So you open it up, and this is the needle. Like that, it comes packaged. And then you open this part up. And anytime you're going to give yourself an injection, I just wash my hands. So make sure you wash your hands first. Um, this is Avidrel 250 milligrams, 0.5 milliliters. And I'm about to give it on cycle day 13. It's cycle day 13 for me. And my procedure will be on the site. My procedure IUI is on cycle day 16. So, this is the needle. So what you want to do is wash your hands. You want to prepare your syringe. So this is how the syringe looks. Can you see that little bit of air up there in the camera? How it's like a little gap right there? Mm -hmm. So that little gap shouldn't be there. So what you want to do, that's called the air bubble. And also there's a little air bubble right there at the bottom. So what you want to do is pluck it to get all your air bubbles out at the top. Oh, that's my alarm to take my shot. That was nice. So you want to pluck it or you can knock it on something, but just to get the air bubbles out. Um, next thing you want to do is, well, you can do the air bubble thing last. First thing you want to do is clean your skin. With an alcohol wipe and make sure you let it dry fully. I've never given myself a shot before, so this is a little scary. So that while that's drying, that's when you can go and pluck the air bubbles out of here. And that's a large air bubble. Um, so next you take the cap off. I've never used this kind of syringe before, so it's a little bit of fluid right there. So, in order to get the air bubbles out, you just push it up slowly till you see that fluid come straight to the tip of the needle. And this is how you give a sub-Q injection. And there you have it. So, next thing is, on this needle, um, you want to give your injection with the bevel side up. So, basically... Can you zoom in, baby? Um, can you see how it's like going down, like it's slanted? Not from here. I'm just zooming in. Yeah, I need them to see the slanted part. So on this needle, you can see a slanted portion. So whenever you insert the needle, you want the slanted part. So my slanted part goes down right here. So if I was putting it in my belly, I wanted the slant part to go in. I want the bevel part to go in. That's called a bevel tilt needle. Because if you give it the opposite way, it's going to hurt. Well, it might hurt anyway, but that's how you do it. So, my needle is prepared. My sight is clean. My sight is dry. You want to have some gauze, but in this case, I'm at home. I don't have gauze, so I just have some tissue. And to dispose of your sharps needle, we're not at a hospital, so we don't have a sharps container. You just use a regular container of some kind with a top on it. That can't not be punctured. That's hard to be punctured. So just use like a water bottle or something. So to give a sub-Q injection, you want to pinch your fat. And if you don't have none, that's going to be hard to do. But you want to pinch. And you're going to give this at a 45 to 90 degree angle. So. And you kind of want to give it fast like a punch. Um, once you put it in. You want to let go and push your needle or your plunger slowly. So, clean your belly. Bevel side up. 
the other side is up and I am so nervous there is and you want to give it at 45 to 90 degrees and then you want to hold pressure if it bleeds okay so here goes nothing You sure you don't want to do it? I'm like yeah, really struggling. Ahead. Okay. So I'm going to just do it. Okay. And then I have my tissue ready. Okay, I am shaking. Okay. I'm just going to do it. One. Is it too close? I want you to back up a little bit. All right, one, two, okay, one, two, one, it's still recording, because I got to hurry yeah. up, okay, one, two, three, ouch, oh, it wasn't that bad, so then you push your plunger slowly, I'm shaking really bad, because I was scared of that, so you want to push it really slowly, that burns so it's all in there and then just take it out put your this on there and you want to put this straight in your sh oh that was medicine that I was supposed to use make sure you get all your medicine out put this straight in your sharps close your sharps and then you shouldn't stay bleeding for too long but it's a just leave pressure on it or just leave something on it. In this case, I'm just going to tuck that in. And so, again, this is the Obby Drill shot. What you want to do is your supplies is your hand sanitizer or you want to wash your hands. Alcohol wipe, gauze or tissue, a sharps container. So, first you, thing you want to do is clean, wash your hands, clean your site with the alcohol vigorously for at least like 10 seconds. Let that dry. Oh, that's burning. Once you clean your site, you want to take your needle, um, hold it up, knock all the air bubbles out, and we'll knock all the air bu bubbles from the bottom, take the top off, push the air out. It might be a little bit of air at the top, so you push that out so you see a drop of fluid. Once you see that drop of fluid, you want to hold your needle bevel side up, meaning you want the slant pretty much to go down. If you're holding it up, you want your slant to be looking at the ground. You want it to go this way. Um, and you want to hold your stomach, pinch your stomach after it's dry. Give your shot, give it a stab. Um, once you give it a stab, you want to let go. Inject your medication into your stomach. Then you take it out. Cover it up, put that needle directly in the sharps container, which is this just an old Listerine bottle. And close it up, lock that. So nobody, especially if you have kids, and maybe just take it directly to the trash can or wherever you want to take it. And that's all. And as of now, it's just burning. It's a little red, but more so just burning. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, wish us luck. Our son. We are. The doctor told us to have intercourse tonight. Well, they said after the abortion shot, so we'll do that tonight once I'm laying down. And then, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. So in two days, we'll go in for our IUI procedure. At seven o'clock, we have to go in for ultrasound labs, and he has to give his semen with sperm either at 7 or 11, but they told us to come back at 11 o'clock for the procedure. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ask any questions you need to, leave any tips that you can give me for my IUI or for anyone else that's going through the same thing. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Thank you, baby.